Hey everyone, this is Chase from the Speed Gamers, and I am making this video to introduce you to my new channel, Chase TSG. I am making this channel to just give a central location for where I'm going to post all my videos from now on. All cont content I make, whether it be for Speed Gamers or personal, just everything I make, I'm going to put on this YouTube channel. That way I don't have to keep posting videos all over the place. First video I'm making is a run through of The Binding of Isaac. Uh, this is just going to be me running as fast as I can through the game. I'm not very good. I'm pretty new at it. I've only been playing for about a week. If you have any questions about uh, the Speed Gamers or just about this whole YouTube thing in general, feel free to ask in the comments below. But I don't want to ramble on forever because I, I don't know what you guys want to know. So just ask in the comments and in the next video I will answer all your questions. Let's get this started right now. And again, I want to uh, stress that I am very new, so do not expect uh, great gameplay. And at the top right, you'll see a timer, which I'm going to start at the exact moment I start the game. So let's do this. <clears throat> I'll try to ramble on about stuff that uh, you guys may be interested in, but for the most part, uh, I'm just going to focus on the game because I, this takes about all my attention span just to stay alive. Uh, I'm, I've am i been playing for, I think it's about a week, I said that already, but I'm trying to remember what day exactly I started. It hasn't been a week yet, but it's getting close, and I love this game. Like, people always told me to play The Binding of Isaac, told me to like, you know, buy it and stuff, and pick it up and check it out, but I was like, eh, I'm playing Dota, whatever. Well, then I decided to take a small break from Dota, and uh, Jerrica got her hands on The uh, Binding of Isaac and said it was awesome, and I think Wazuki bought it for her, so I was like, alright, I gotta check this Binding of Isaac game out. So I bought it, and holy crap, I got a skeleton key. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> so I bought it, and I was like, wow, this game is freaking awesome. So I haven't really been playing anything else but Binding of Isaac lately. So I decided, you know what, Binding of Isaac's kind of entertaining to watch. Why not uh, record some videos of me sucking it up and getting destroyed and put it up on YouTube. And then that's when I went to the whole ordeal of which channel do I post it on because I don't have a Binding of Isaac channel and all that. And I was like, you know what, this is getting old, creating a channel for every little thing. I'm just going to go ahead and make a personal one for, uh, it's not necessarily just TSG. I named it Chase TSG, but I'll post all videos there that I feel are just YouTube, I wouldn't say YouTube worthy because a lot of my videos are going to suck. But just videos in general that I'm going to put up for uh, the public to see, I guess. And I don't know why I went in this room. I already know where I already got my item. I already I could just went to the boss. I told you I'm gonna run this as quick as possible, so I don't I'm kinda random rambling, so I wasn't paying attention. But normally I'm just gonna try to get my item and then just fight the boss and move on. I don't want this to be like a uh, a two hour long part one, part two, part three playthrough of uh binding of Isaac. I'm just gonna go as fast as I can for as uh, far through the game as I can, so we'll see how it pans out. Probably not very well. Oh, yep. Awesome. I hate these flies so much. I hate how he spawns them infinitely, too. I just need more range and I can stand at the very back. Oh, by the way, I'm playing with a uh, Xbox controller. I finally found a way to like, get it to work. They have a little suggestion on their. Um, options page, but I couldn't get it to work before. I guess I was just being stupid, but I, I found a little walkthrough and I was like, wow, this thing is super helpful. So I used that and within minutes I had it running. I was like, oh, I should have just found this guy to start this guide to start out with. It really saved me a ton of time. <laughs> if there's anything I'm doing wrong, feel free to tell me in the comments, because like I said before, I am like ultra noob status. Oh, that was awesome. So I don't really, I don't really know the patterns of too many bosses. I know this guy kind of, but I've, I've fought him. You know, I've, I don't know how many hours I played right now. I should have checked before I uh, started streaming, but I'm guessing it's around 20 hours or so. Which I mean isn't a lot, especially for Binding of Isaac, but it's enough to understand the very basics, like how to walk around and stuff. On to the second. Uh, what do we call these levels? I don't know. Oh, also, sorry if I'm like breathing into the mic and stuff. I don't really, I don't really have it in a good spot right now. And wow, this is an awesome room. Very pointless. Wow. I always see these guys, and I don't know why I approach them like the little, uh, the meat dudes that do with the bone in them. 
Like, I always think they're gonna shoot up and down, and it's diagonal, and it blows my mind. These guys, these are the exact guys I was just talking about. For a second, I was like, oh crap, do I have a key for this? And then I realized I have 99 keys. I'm upset. Oh, uh, also, I don't know if I've already said this, but I don't really understand, like, any of the items. Like, I know, I know the basics, and after I grab it, I usually know decently, like this one, I think, homings. But I've never grabbed most of these items that, uh, I'm grabbing right now. Like, this is the first time I've ever seen the little spoon thing, and what the heck is the point of this room? To give you an idea of how, uh, noob I am, I picked up an item earlier, I think it's, uh, it's an epic hack, or whatever, and, uh... <laughs> I soon found out I could hurt myself with it, and uh, before I even got to the final, uh, not the final, not the even final boss, the final part of that one little like basement section or whatever, I killed myself by sh just blowing myself up multiple times. It wasn't on purpose. It just, <laughs> it just blew my mind the new concept of shooting. Like, oh crap. Uh, again though about the uh, whole controller or keyboard thing, I way prefer the controller simply because I'm so used to it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's an advantage or disadvantage, it's whatever you're comfortable with. If you're like a person who plays a lot of PC games, you're definitely going to do just fine with the, the PC, I mean the, the keyboard. But um, I play like, you know, tons of Xbox, so whenever I tried this out and got this working, I was like, wow, this is so much easier for me. And it's, I'm probably less accurate with my shots, honestly, but I'm more accurate in my, like, running. Which I know you're thinking, there's no way, uh, there's no way you're more accurate, you're doing bad. But it was worse before, trust me. Also, uh, one thing that I'm very confused about is if this bosses always drop the same items or something. Like, I don't know, people, I watched a couple streams to, like, try to get the basics of the game down before I even bought it. And some people, oh crap, some people like knew what item they were going to get ahead of time. I didn't understand how they did that. Like, I, I haven't, at least I haven't noticed that I'm getting the same item from the same bosses. Like, I've play, I played a couple bosses uh, multiple times, but never noticed that it was always the same item dropped or anything like that. Currently at 6 minutes 20 seconds, I need to pick up the pace because I do not want to make this a long video and I want to get as far as I can, hopefully get to the final boss, but uh, I've only killed mom about, I think it's three or four times now, and I gotta say, <laughs> I gotta say, I got pretty lucky and pretty carried with some uh, the items that I picked up. Uh, one of them was technology, I love technology, uh, I picked that up and I was like, wow, this thing is like super OP, and I made it all the way to the boss, and I was, I was like the first time I think I ever, I ever killed her was thanks to uh, technology. And then the next time I got her because I had the Bible. <laughs> so I haven't exactly had any awesome uh, epic battles because I get the cheap stuff. Oh my gosh, you annoying little flies. Leave me alone. Oh, uh, another thing that I haven't even mentioned is the giant black bar on the side. Uh, Oh, and the, the man-ups, the, oh, there's so much stuff I haven't pointed out. Alright, so man-ups is something that comes from my stream. If you don't know what it uh, means, don't really worry about it. Just know that it means deaths. Um, the backstory behind it, yeah, it's too long to explain. Maybe maybe for another time. But just know it means deaths, mom kills, is pretty self-explanatory. Tommy times I killed mom. But the reason that number is uh, lower than the number I just talked about is because that is uh, my man-ups and my deaths that I have done while streaming. Uh, not in general, just while streaming. So I'm gonna include the man ups and the uh, mom kills that happen uh, on YouTube as well now. So it just means if there was the ability for others to watch, I'll keep track of the number. If not, then the number just doesn't matter. I know you have the little stat section, but honestly, I don't like that little stat section because if you get the cat, then that counts as nine deaths right there. And I don't think it should be counted as nine deaths. It should be just considered like a, as game over, like one game over or whatever. So. Oh my gosh, stop it, leave me alone. But yeah, that's why I, I have that little counter down there, if you were curious. And then as for the giant black bar, um, the empty space, I actually want to take uh, suggestions from you guys what I should put there, at least for Binding of Isaac. I know most games aren't going to have a giant black bar to the side, but oops, I walked right into that. 
But uh, in this game, there is one because of the dimension. So if you have any suggestions for what I should put there, feel free to let me know. I was thinking maybe thanking people subscribe because there's... I mean... <clears throat> I know the number shouldn't be too big. It should probably be like, what, like a person? Like, if I post like a video a day or so, that should be just like one person to thank or something like that. I don't know. It shouldn't be too hard to put like some shout outs over in that little corner. But I don't know. If you have a better idea, feel free to let me know because that's just something I've kind of tossed around. It's probably not the greatest idea. So if you have any ideas, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you have anything to say at all uh, regarding the this whole... Something that I can answer, feel free to ask in the comments. I will not mind. And I'll answer it either in the next video or with a direct reply. And I will read all comments because there will probably only be like two or three of them. So it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, another thing that is important to point out is I am posting this video on both uh, the Speed Gamers and my personal uh, personal account. I know it's probably going to be a little confusing because I said, hey, this is my new account, blah, blah, blah. I should have explained that earlier. But um, the reason I'm doing that is kind of just, I don't know if promote's the right word, but just like point out my new channel because a lot of people uh, who know me in PSG obviously would see me on the other channel usually. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm fighting this dude and I haven't really fought him too many times. I don't know. Seems pretty easy. No! That almost ended terribly. Fuck this thing so hard. Let me live! Currently up at 10 minutes. Aw, oh, crap. Oh, I got lucky right there. I don't know why it didn't hit me. Oh, jeez. Is that thing hurting itself? I can't tell. No, it didn't hurt itself there. Oh. Oh, my. Ah! I'm getting so. Oh, my luck ran out. Oh, this thing has its own health bar? Stupid thing. That was a lucky shot. <gasps> Alright. Here's another thing that I'm not good with making the call of whether I should sacrifice the hearts or not. Alright, I don't want that. Not worth it. As for this item, oh, I can't remember what it does. I know the little red one's like a little red thing that follows you around. It's not that great. At least it's alright. I'm not saying it's bad, but not worth the hard sacrifice, I don't think. Um, screw it. I'm skipping it. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people are like, you idiot! Well, keep in mind, I'm a super noob. Alright? I don't know what's going on. I like have my having my hearts. That's all I know. But I do have a little pony, which I'm not sure, does that guy drop a pony every time? So it makes sense, since he was like riding one. <gasps> okay, a little cave. Oh, jeez, I almost walked right into him. I forgot that uh, I can fly over anything. Die. All right, there we go. Uh, another thing, I, if I haven't already brought it up, is in the comments if you could leave like what you want to like what you want to listen to me ramble on uh, pointlessly about. If you have any, I guess. Like, Topics? I don't know. That's the right word for it. Does this hurt you if you're flying when you walk through it? It would make sense to like get through it, but just fine. Let's see. <gasps> yes, you do get through it just fine. Sweet. Well, it didn't matter. Any crap? Oh, it. What the? I'm so confused right now. It didn't hurt me that time. It was. I'm so confused. I don't know, like, the flies I know are super easy to kill and whatnot, but they seem to get me the most because they're, like, so small that, like, I just tend to, like, count them out. And they cheap shot me. Stop jumping behind the rocks, you lazy little monkeys. Fight me like a man. Oh, they did man up right there. So that should have waited until I had another half missing. Oh, jeez. Oh. See, levels like this, I don't know, like, oh, not levels, rooms. Like, where do you go in that situation? Alright, let's see what we got here to work with. Uh, I think that makes the, the rooms available. They can, oh, you see through doors, so yeah. So, wait, is that the same as, like, the little x-ray eye things? I think so. I don't know. 
Wait, why was I dodging the spikes? I can walk over them. Nah, it's not gonna... Oh, man, made it. This little horse dude's got some serious speed. It, that's getting annoying. They keep curving back, but... They, they were, like, gonna hit somebody anyways. Stop curving! I have no damage at all. Like, look at these dudes. I don't know. I can't remember what the umbilical cord does. They only give speed, and I don't think I need speed. I'm, like, pretty fast already. Oh, these are like my nightmare. This this is gonna be where I die probably. Please don't let me die. Oh. Sweet Jesus. I gotta go kill myself. See ya.